hello and welcome to this video tutorial on acceleration formula now in this video we will look at acceleration formula where acceleration depends on velocity and time now before going any further let us define what is acceleration acceleration is defined as change in velocity over time now there are two ways to find acceleration first one is using velocity and second one is using force formula now in this video we will only discuss the acceleration formula that involves velocity and time now the question is how would we choose which formula for acceleration we have to use during a given problem we use the formula of acceleration with velocity and time when we do not have knowledge of force acting on the body so in this formula we would only have knowledge about change in velocity and time over which change in this velocity takes place let us now look at acceleration formula with velocity and time now as mentioned earlier acceleration is the change in velocity over time so acceleration is equals to change in velocity divided by time now if vi is the starting or initial velocity vf is ending or final velocity and t is the time taken to reach final velocity from initial velocity then acceleration is equals to final velocity minus initial velocity upon time taken or acceleration a is equals to vf minus vi upon time which again is equals to delta v upon t so now we have formulas for acceleration a is equals to vf minus vi upon t or delta v upon t now here this acceleration a is in meter per second whole square which means that unit of acceleration is meter per second square both vi are in meter per second that is unit of velocity is meter per second and time is measured in seconds and this delta v is short form for change in velocity now there are some important facts about acceleration first one is acceleration is a vector quantity which means it has both magnitude and direction the direction of acceleration can be different from the direction of velocity third point is unit of acceleration is meter per second whole square and the fourth point is acceleration can be negative as well as positive now negative acceleration means the velocity decreases with time and positive acceleration means velocity increases with time we will now look at a very simple question and the question states that a bus decreases its speed from 80 meter per second to 60 meter per second in 5 seconds find the acceleration of the bus now here it is given that initial velocity 
वी आई इज इक्वल्स टू एटी मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड फाइनल वेलोसिटी वी एफ इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी मीटर पर सेकेंड एंड टाइम टेकन टी इज इक्वल्स टू फाइव सेकेंड नाउ वी हैव टू कैलकुलेट एसेलरेशन फ्रॉम दिस डेटा नाउ फ्रॉम एसेलरेशन फॉर्मूला वी हैव एसेलरेशन ए इज इक्वल्स टू वी एफ विच इज फाइनल वेलोसिटी माइनस वी आई विच इज इनिशियल वेलोसिटी डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम टेकन नाउ पुटिंग दीज रिस्पेक्टिव वैल्यूज इन दिस इक्वेशन वी गेट ए इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्सटी माइनस एटी मीटर पर सेकेंड डिवाइडेड बाई टाइम विच इज फाइव सेकेंड एंड ऑन कैलकुलेटिंग वी गेट एसलरेशन ए इज इक्वल्स टू माइनस फोर मीटर पर सेकेंड होल स्क्वायर नाउ इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नोट दैट द आंसर वी गेट इज नेगेटिव सो वी हैव गॉट नेगेटिव एसेलरेशन इन दिस केस एंड दिस नेगेटिव साइन इंडिकेट्स दैट वेलोसिटी इज डिक्रीजिंग विद टाइम so i think now you have got a basic idea of what is acceleration formula and how to use this formula for solving very basic questions that involve velocity and time thanks for watching